Instagram is a great tool to market many different types of businesses. If you're posting photos regularly on Instagram, it may be useful to have them automatically update to your website so you don't have to maintain a separate photo gallery there. In this video, I'll show you how to set up an Instagram API connection so your photos automatically show up on your website when you post them to your Instagram feed. Let's get started. So to do this, we're going to be using a plugin called Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. And I actually use this for a lot of things. I recorded another video where I showed you how to style your gravity forms using Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. Um, so there are other plugins to do this, but this is a plugin I prefer because um, not only can you use it for so many other things, um, it helps Elementor so much, which is my favorite page builder, and um, you can package it with Astro, which is my favorite theme. So if you click the link in the description, you'll come to this page. And then if you click the get started button, you have a couple different options. If you just want ultimate add-ons, you can do this first one. If you want to add in Astra, um, you can do the second one. And honestly, you probably don't need the growth bundle unless you're a web designer. So after you buy this and you log into your account, you're going to have to um, download it in the downloads area. Um, if you hover over account, you'll see downloads and ultimate add-ons for Elementor will be right there. So go ahead and download that. You'll also need your license, which is under licenses under account. So go ahead and copy that as well. Then hop into your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, click upload plugin, choose the file or drag it in here, the zip file. And then after that's installed, you can hop over to the plugins page and it will prompt you um, to activate it or you can press the license link here and you can go ahead and paste your license code right there. Okay, so now that that is done, let's go ahead and figure out what we have to do to connect Instagram. So go to settings and then go to UAE and then where you see it says Instagram feed, click settings. And then you're gonna have to scroll down, 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 down to where it says Instagram feed. And here it's asking for the Instagram app ID, Instagram app secret, and the Instagram access token. So let me show you how to get that. Okay, so the first thing you need is a meta for developers account. Um, this is really useful to have for a lot of different reasons. If you use Facebook and Instagram for your business, it's a good idea to have an account here. So if you already have an account, when you go to this page, it'll say my apps here, and you can click that. And if you don't already have an account or you're not logged into Facebook, it, it might say something like logged in. So either way, um, either go ahead and click my apps or log into your account to create an account or log into your account. So you're gonna come to a page that looks something like this. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create an app. So click the create app button, click consumer, and then click next. Give the app a name, put in your contact email, and then you can choose a business manager account. Now, um, this is optional, but I do have one, so I'm gonna choose that. And then I'm gonna click the create app button. Okay, so when I did that, it gave me an error because it didn't like that I said Instagram. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that and hit photo feed instead, and then click the create button, create app button one more time. It's gonna ask you to re-enter your password, so go ahead and do that. So now we've got this page where we can add products to our app, and we're going to want to do the Instagram basic display. So we're gonna hover over that and click set up. Now on this page, we're getting a, um, I'm getting at least a alert that I need to update my active application settings before creating an Instagram app. So let's click that. Um, and when we do that, we get to this page. So what we need to do is scroll down, click add platform, choose website, and then hit next. Then just go ahead and put your site URL under website and then hit save changes. Now we can go back to this Instagram basic display product over here and then uh, click on that and then click basic display. And now that error is no longer there and we can click create new app. We're gonna hit keep that display name as is and then click create app. Okay, now on this page, you can see we actually already have the Instagram app ID and the app secret. Um, I'm gonna hide both of these from you guys, uh, but your app secret is hidden right away too, so you're gonna wanna click that show button. And then you can actually go ahead and copy the Instagram app ID and then head back to your website. I already have mine open on a separate tab. And then paste it 
under Instagram app ID, go back to the app settings, go ahead and copy the Instagram app secret, and then back to your website, and then paste that there. And now we still need the Instagram access token. So go ahead and head back to your Instagram app settings. And before we click save changes, we do have to do um, one more thing. It's asking for uh, valid URLs and URIs for uh, various things. Now you will have to, you should come back and replace these later, but for right now you can just put your website address in all of these three boxes. And then when you get those websites in, click save changes. And now we need to create an Instagram test account. So go ahead and scroll down and click add or remove Instagram testers. Scroll down to Instagram testers here, click add Instagram tester. And now you wanna put in the username of the Instagram account you wanna add. I'm just gonna do my personal one just to show you guys and then click submit. And if you scroll down, you see that it's there, but it says pending. That's because you have to sign into Instagram and accept it. Okay, when you're on your Instagram um, page on your profile, go ahead and click the edit profile button, then click apps and websites, and then click tester invites. And you should see the name of your app here and then go ahead and click accept. And then when we hop back into Meta for developers and if we refresh this page, and scroll down it no longer says pending next to Instagram testers. So now let's go ahead and generate that token by going to the Instagram basic display product here, clicking basic display again, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. And when you see where it says Instagram test users, click generate token. It's going to ask you to sign into Instagram. So go ahead and do that. It's going to ask you to approve um, permissions. So approve those permissions by clicking allow. Now it's very, very important that you don't share this with just anyone. That is why it's going to be blurred on this video when you're watching it. Um, and Instagram or Meta for developers is telling you that here. So go ahead and click the I understand button and then click the copy button to copy your token and then click done and then click save changes. Hop back over to your website and then paste the Instagram access token there. Very important, don't forget to scroll down and click Save Changes. Now, let me show you how to add this feed onto your page. So go ahead and go to Pages, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, pick whichever page you wanna edit. I'm gonna edit my uh, website roadmap. Uh, keep in mind, this is a freebie. If you guys are interested, um, you could check the link in the description and download this for free. This is my nine step website roadmap to show you how to DIY your first website. Um, but I'm just kind of bringing this page up just so I can show you the, um, the Instagram feed. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna add a new section in Elementor and I'm just gonna add a full section. And I kinda want this to go across the whole page. So in these settings, I'm gonna put the content width as full width and I'm gonna click stretch section. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and click these boxes up here to get to the Elementor widgets and I'm gonna search for Instagram. Now you're gonna see the Instagram feed pop up and it says UAE, which is ultimate add-ons for Elementor. And then you just gotta drag it right into the section and there you go, those are the photos from my Instagram account. Now you can change some other settings here, like you could put if you want it as a grid or if you want it as masonry. Um, you can select how many columns you wanna put, uh, which would, uh, you probably also want that to match with how many images you wanna share. You can force square images here. All my images are already square, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I would set the resolution at standard at least. Um, then we have some additional settings. This is where uh, the cache timeout is um, how long it, it will take for um, the feed to be refreshed. An hour should be good. You can choose if you wanna show or hide the captions. Um, and then you can choose uh, how you want to adjust this Instagram follow link. So when you're done with that, just go ahead and click update. And let's go ahead and view this page by clicking the three lines and then view page. And there you go, there's the Instagram feed. So we went ahead and uh, created an API for Instagram and connected it to your website. And now you can save a whole bunch of time and your website will automatically update with your Instagram pictures when you share them on your Instagram feed. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.